Hello YouTube, how you guys doing today? So today we're going to get into the book Tipping Points by Malcolm Gladwell. How little things can make a big difference. And that's essentially what I want to talk about. Um, Malcolm Gladwell says that there are three qualities to create a tipping point revolution. But first, let's explain what a tipping point is. So a tipping point is when an idea a contagious idea spreads through social networks in a geometric fashion. So what is geometric fashion? Um, it's the idea that humans who tend to think linearly don't think in terms of exponential growth, right? If you double the number one 50 times, you get this enormously huge number because every doubling is a doubling of what was doubled. So, so, um, so the three qualities that Malcolm Gladwell says are necessary for tipping point revolution is contagiousness. The idea has to be contagious or the personality of the person has to be contagious Two, the idea that little causes can have big effects due to this idea of geometric progression. And the third point, which is that ideas, um, can happen all at once. You know, a tipping point is a dramatic geometric effect of a small cause. So things change like that. That's what a tipping point is. So now the question is, how can we use this to mitigate or end world hunger? So my idea is to structurally embed altruistic practices within corporations, right? There's this idea called conscious capitalism. And basically what that idea says is, if a business is run the right way, you can create altruistic practices within the corporation. So corporations, you know, as you know, they're getting wealthier and wealthier over time. And if these charities, if, if these corporations donate their funds to, to the right charities at the right time, it will create a tipping point. So why? Why will it create a tipping point? I want to get into the idea of memes and the idea of the fact that humans copy each other. It's monkey see, monkey do. So memes are to culture what genes are to evolution. So genes in evolution, they compete through us and one gene uh, proliferates if the animal has a competitive advantage. Um, it's the same with memes and culture. Memes compete with each other. Idea complexes, structures of ideas compete with each other in the political and social arena in order to gain traction. So if this idea, which I call social capitalism, gains traction within culture and that tipping point, that dramatic shift, you know, if if companies start donating the majority of their funds to, to charity, we can easily end world hunger. And why is that? Because uh, Oxfam, which is a which is a research group, they found that we produced more than enough food for every person in the world. The reason that people are still hungry is because the food isn't getting to them. It's distribution problems, not supply and abundance problems. We have the food. You know, I think it's 4.2 pounds of food per person per day for every day of the year. That's how much food we produce. So um, I just want you guys to connect these ideas together and try to save the world. Thank you so much. Hey guys, for more ways to save the world, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.